In 2010, a world-class stud dog, Corrado Zvetrova Luki, a.k.a. Rush, escaped a high-security Slovak breeding station. Okay, kidding. Maybe we just got lucky and bought him. He made his way to Canada and found refuge at Kanchek Dogs. Rush soon prospered in his new surroundings, finding work in Vancouver's booming film industry as well as stud service. After receiving a pardon from the Slovak government for his indiscretions, Rush was asked to return for a period of time in order to enhance the Slovak breeding program. And, to the best of our knowledge, this is a first for any exported stud, so we agreed. On the other side of this gate is an armed guard and the famous Slovak breeding station. Rush is enjoying a stretch in a big visitor's run, fully ready to do his job. Come on, girls! Quick overview gives us a look at the admin building. And my favorite, the whole massive complex is fully fenced. This place was built for the Slovak army and in late 60s converted to breeding kennel. It was double fenced with dogs patrolling between. How cool is that? Next, an exercise area leading up to the vet office, offices, and kennels. More kennels. Swimming pool, currently not in use. More kennels. Total 210 runs. Beautiful, large, clean. Puppy runs. more runs, and back to admin office. Inside the vet clinic, and runs for sick dogs with heated flooring. These are the runs for the females with pups. This is the outside. Going into the inside, looking into where the brood box is and that's the view of the brood boxes with heated floors of course and puppies inside mr nickel welcome home how was your trip to slovakia hey kim my hey. trip was great look at all the goodies i got i'm interested to hear about them. well here first things first buddy first things first Good Slovak Slivovitz. Now, I, you can't do anything without having a shot first. Be careful, this stuff is strong. Welcome home. Mm. Good uh. stuff. So, as you see... <laughs> How did Deputy Quist do on this stuff? Deputy Quist did fantastic. He was great sport. So they have this stuff in Iowa, do they? Well, they do now. Okay. At least one bottle. Did they have a look at the puppy video stuff? What did they do? They looked at the puppy video. The, the officer in charge of the breeding station uh, wants to build similar stuff. He wants to start doing that kind of stuff and that kind of training with their puppies. He was just absolutely impressed. He says he's never seen that, loved it, whatever. By the way, I got an invitation. I think they just got the budget approved. They'd like to fly me up there and do a seminar for bite work and also spend some time with, uh, with the puppies and, and working on their agility course and foundation raising for puppies. So probably a week or so or more that I would spend working there. So, Well, congratulations. Yeah. That's, a, that's a monumental compliment. We were fortunate to work with numerous different police units as well as a canine border guard unit. I was very impressed with the reception we got from the Slovak sport world. We got to meet with and exchange training tips with some world-renowned competitors and judges. I was happy to see that every single time Rush got to come out, everyone that met him and got to test him wanted him for their next stud law enforcement, military or sport alike.